assalamu alaikum everyone this is rubel so today we will learn how to use http delete method uh, using python so before i do that like manually we have to make sure if it is uh, uh, everything is working as expected otherwise we cannot do automation right so the first let me see if we have any uh, existing customer so we do not have any existing customer so what we can do we can create a one customer and uh, then customer id is on a six so in order for to delete so you have to use the delete method and on the url we have to we have to enter the id number and we need a consumer key so we don't need any body so we need a delete we have to change the id number and uh, and the consumer key and secret key will be remain same so now we are going to do the same thing on the our our uh, our program so as we see we don't have to touch anything here only thing we need we need a url so since this is uh, you cannot name the same variable right we cannot name the url so it will be get confused right so i said uh, url i said delete yeah that's fine delete is fine so comment v oops so i think i didn't copy the url so i have to copy this url and i have to put in the quotation so this url we have oops. so url consumer key customer key we have we have done this part so now on the request side we have to create another method for delete so let me i can just comment out this one or i can make a copy And after the copy, I can just comment, make sure that code is not execute. Maybe. So I'm going to rename this um, method to TC3. Instead of create, I say delete, delete customer. And we know that we need a delete method. So request.post, I have to say delete. And we do we do not require any body, right? Right now, if I go to the body, it's empty, right? So we don't need any body. So I can delete this part. So if we want to validate the response for the delete, what we can do, um, delete, it should be 200, right? So I can say, after execute, I say assert, R dot status code is equal to 100. So if it is execute successful, it should be uh, expected result is 200, actual is should be 200. Otherwise it will throw an error. So now before I, uh, um, be, um, before I change this ono2 to see if I have any ono2 customer, so we have ono six. Only one customer we have is ono six, not ono two. So before I change this to ono two, ono six, let's run this program. So now let me open terminal on in Python. So if you if you want to open terminal in Python, just right click on the project and uh, open, then on the middle or towards to the end open in terminal so it will open in terminal so if you open in terminal by default the the virtual environment is activate uh, automatically but if you open from the terminal we have to activate the virtual environment before we run the program okay so i can run it so pytest type in v type in s so i should see the assertion error because 
expectation is 200 is 404. So that means with the, uh, the um, this ID number 102 is not exist. So now if I change this, change the ID to 106. So now it should pass. So clear the console. Four of four. Okay. Why is, is it one of six? Oh, my bad. So you see, I didn't I didn't change the URL because I'm using this URL. I'm not using this. So it has to be URL underscore delete. So clear again. And let me before like let me run it with invalid ID that is not exist. So now if I run it again, I should see 400 again. So now change to 106. Now it should pass. See, it has been passed. So now if I go back to get all customer. Get all customer send. You see, it's empty and the status code is 200. So that is very uh, short video for the delete. And next, we will learn update. After we complete the update method, then we will combine all the method we learned so far. We learn how to retrieve the data using get method, how to create a new customer using post, how to delete customer, how to update. Uh, we will use all those methods together and um, yeah so thank you i'm going to stop here